What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Hey, this is Jason with Denworks. Uh, got a 1930 Model A uh, for you. It's a uh, deluxe uh, four-door and uh, really nice shape and uh, in great condition. I love the uh, color scheme on it for sure. You know that uh, black with the gray and the red uh, wheels and pinstripes, big wide whites. I mean, it's just, just an awesome looking car. I'll just show you this here real fast. We're gonna do a video it, on it as well. Um, for our auction and uh, very original 1926 uh, Model T. It's kind of interesting to, to look at the difference, uh, you know, in a, a Model T and a Model A. You know, this is just uh, about four years difference. So Model T stopped in 27 and uh, Model A started in, uh, in uh, 28. So uh, definitely a taller car than the uh, Model A. So anyways, we'll uh, walk around here You'll uh, see a lot of still video or uh, still shots and stuff, but we've been doing videos lately just so you can see uh, different things about the cars um, that you wouldn't maybe notice in a photo, and it just gives you another, you know, kind of a feeling about it. And uh, so um, we'll just walk around here and uh, do a quick on the outside and look in the interior, look underneath the hood and uh, everything. So this car is real nice, uh, real nice shape. We'll just start from the front to the back. The grill surround looks real nice, and uh, plating all looks good. Radiator cap looks in good shape. You can see the radiator here in general. The fins look pretty good. There's a couple that have been brushed uh, right there, and, and just a little bit here that could be straightened out. But I mean, it's you know just pretty minor stuff. If you know if you've owned uh, you know these kind of rigs, and uh, up front here you'll see. Um, fenders look really good. These are steel fenders. It's got uh, fiberglass ones in the back, but the, the front ones are steel. And uh, there's no um, ripples or anything. Very, very straight and uh, look in excellent condition. You can see here it's got Ford headlights. You can see the marking here. You can see the marking here on this side. This here lens says Ford on the bottom, but the other one uh, doesn't. But you can see they use the same uh, lines and everything, reflectors and stuff on the glass. So this one here may be a reproduction. Um, I'm not sure. It just doesn't have the Ford uh, marking. You know, when you look down the side, you know, it looks, looks real nice and straight. Uh, body work on it is actually pretty good. Um, we'll look here across the hood. You know, again, it's in good condition. You'll see some little chipping and stuff here on the hood hinge. I mean, that's very common, obviously. You look here across the, the cowl, gas tank area. Looks in nice shape. You can see some little little stains right there just around the cap. And uh, the visor looks in good shape too. The window does pop in and out like it should. I'll show you that later. Right here, you'll see some imperfections at the bottom of the cowl. A little bit of bubbling uh, there at the bottom. We can just look around the door here. Looks in good shape. You'll see some little a uh, some little crazing right there. You can see on the splash apron, but overall the aprons look uh, in good shape. I love the swoopiness of these fenders. I mean they look great. No bubbles in the bottom of the doors, and uh, the paint's probably oh 10, 15 years old and uh, right here you can see a little tiny crack in the paint and uh, might be a little bit of a filler crack there and uh, I'm just trying to show you stuff um, that you just take notice to and uh, you wouldn't probably see in a photo real good and uh, the car presents really good I like the original wheels I like the big wide whites on it on the fenders back here as I said before they're fiberglass you can see a little bit of um, uh, spider webbing right here on that fender but overall the fender looks good. 
you know, the roof gutter looks good, not rusty, you know, very clean, and uh, door handles look good too. You'll see some little tiny paint cracks right there as well. Look around here to the back. <clears throat> you know, I haven't seen any accident damage on this. I mean, again, it's, it's really clean. Here, I'll step back here a little bit farther. You can see the height difference between a Model T and a uh, Model A quite a bit and uh, a lot more rounded uh, compared to the square. I'll go ahead and look, look at the back. You know, no rust, nothing back here. Everything looks real clean. You can see it's got its uh, luggage rack. 31 uh, plate, but this is a 1930. Check out the light. You know, the fender looks real good on this side. You know, the doors and everything look great. We'll show you the interior in a minute, but everything shuts nice. You can see the panel gaps are in good shape. And, uh, you know, it's put together pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of Model A's out there, uh, but this, is, this one's in pretty nice shape. One thing here you'll notice, this is probably the worst thing on it. You'll see a area here that's um, lifted up. You can kind of push on it. You can see a couple little cracks there, but the paint uh, has uh, pulled up there a little bit. And uh, you could just leave it or just uh, strip this panel down if you wanted and repaint it. So I just wanted to make you uh, notice that. You can see here it's got a spare and uh, it doesn't have a white wall on it. And, uh, but it's got four wide whites and, and then the spare there. But um, overall it uh, looks good. I'll show you this channel here. You know, it's not rusty, looks in good shape and uh, you know, very clean. And uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, show you some uh, interior shots. We're going to uh, show you underneath the hood. I'll show you it running and stuff as well. Here we are. We're going to take a look at the interior. Door shut. Shut real good. You know, suicide door on the rear, which is pretty cool. But uh, I'll go ahead and show you the interior overall. Again, it's real clean and uh, seats look really nice. You can see the uh, fold down uh, armrest back there. I'll show you that here in a minute. But the seat has very little wear and you know, it looks in nice shape. You can see it's got uh, carpet in it and the rubber mat underneath. And then the, the wood underneath there. And, uh, but you can see across the dash, you know, it looks nice and uh, all painted. You can see that the red line uh, pinstripe uh, continues on as well. You can see here the gas. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of things here, but you can see the uh, gas gauge works there and uh, basically just a float. And um, you can see the light works underneath there. And uh, everything works as it should underneath here. You got your choke. There's your starter if you don't know a lot about these. You know, you have it put it in neutral, but there's a starter right there. And uh, gas pedal, brake, clutch, three-speed manual, and then your emergency brake. And, uh, but you look inside the door jams, you know, they look real nice. And uh, I'll show you the window popping out here in a minute. I'll loosen this side, then I'll go over to the other side and, uh, and show you that. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the door panels. You know, again, very nice. I'd say probably the interior is probably the same age, and uh, overall it, it looks in, in very good shape. You can see a little bit of rubbing there when it shuts up here. You know, again, you know, very common. And uh, you haven't seen any rust on this, this little Model A. Um, overall it looks, it looks real clean. You can see here the light works there. Got it off and on. And <clears throat> here's the center for the seat for the armrest. I don't know if they put that in all of them. I think the Deluxe uh, had that. And then I think the Deluxe models too had this um, little fancier trim as well. And I've actually seen some of them that didn't have that little uh, quarter window in there, I think. So um, I'm not an expert on, on Model uh, A's by any means, but 
I've just seen some with, with or without. And uh, but I don't know if that's a deluxe thing or not. Someone will probably help me with that, with you know, in questions and stuff. Here we are on the uh, driver's side. You know, again, it's in really good condition. Love the horn. You know, again, the seat looks good, no rips or anything. Go ahead and look at the passenger or the driver's side here. Again, it's it's real nice, and uh, someone's you know cared for this car, and uh, great for you know a lot of things, parades, and just enjoying yourself. We actually might rent it out uh, this weekend for uh, a wedding, and uh, perfect wedding car for sure. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, start it up here in a minute, and just show you how that that starts up. This is what it's titled underneath. Oregon uh, put its own VIN on it, uh, 90369. Uh, you know, as you know, Model Model A's, there's not a, anything on the body except a stamp that's underneath the splash apron in the body. You gotta take the body off. So they wanted something that's uh, visual and uh, that you can see it right away. So I uh, just wanted to let you know it was stamped that way. And the uh, motor has a stamp on it as well um, with a different number. Uh, but it's not original to the car. So we'll go ahead and uh, start it up here so you can uh, hear it run. Okay, here we are uh, behind the wheel. I was just gonna start it up real fast here and uh, we'll show you underneath the hood here in a minute. And uh, I'm obviously gonna turn the key on. This is the throttle. This over here adjusts your uh, distributor and uh, stuff. So I got the key on right underneath here as well. Now I can't remember if I got the gas on or not, but we'll find out fast. And uh, here's the fuel mixture and choke. But... There we go. You know, this acts like a throttle as well. Or you can use your, your foot down there. And, uh, but basically that's uh, how it runs. This turns your headlights on and stuff. You can see the amp gauge is moving a little bit and uh but overall that's that's pretty much it i mean it's pretty spartan and stuff oh well, i was going to show you how the windshield pops open to screw it here and that's pretty cool that actually lets a lot of air uh, come through here when you're driving so uh pretty nice and i also i don't know if you can see this windows all roll up and down very good. Okay, here we are, we're gonna look underneath the hood. I already did, undid the latches, and uh, just wanted to show you it running underneath here. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. Um, you know, just stock Model A uh, engine, and uh, you can see there the, the number. I got a still photo of it, but I think it says AA1567150. Um, you can research that a little bit. I don't believe it's the original motor uh, to the rig, but you know, definitely a Model A motor. And this here is a nice addition here. Easy steer um, out of Cleveland, Ohio. Um, that makes steering these things so nice. And uh, you can do a little research on that as well. But across the cowl, looks in good shape. Um, runs real smooth. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at the other side for you. Okay, here we are. We're gonna take a look underneath the hood. On the driver uh, passenger side here, you can see the intake and the, uh, the uh, carburetor and everything, distributor, see the float bowl, you know, the cowl looks good. You know, overall, it uh, engine looks good. Right here's your throttle. 
you know, it runs real smooth. And uh, so, anyways, I just wanted to show you it uh, running everything, and uh, you know, overall, it it sounds good.